Hello everybody, we're going to do a few exercises here involving a tangent lines and involving circles. For number one, uh, we, here we see a circle C with radius 19. It seems to be forming a square here. We know that from the three right angles. This must also be a right angle too. And if that's the case, this is in fact a square. It's simply a matter of x equals 19. There we go. For number two, uh, we have a tangent line JK, and tangent lines are perpendicular to radii formed in a circle. So then we can use Pythagorean theorem to solve for x. 15 squared plus 20 squared equals x squared. 15 squared is 225. 20 squared is 400. So when we have 225 plus 400 is 625. The square root of both sides is 20x equals 25. Alright, that's number two. Okay, number three is going to go by pretty quick. One of our theorems stated that if you have an exterior point to a circle and it is tangent to the same circle at two different places, the, the length of the tangent lines are the same. Our x in number three is simply x equals 12, just like the other tangent line. Okay, for number four, now we get a little bit more difficult. We have to find this little segment x right here. Okay, we have triangle RUS, but it's not helping us. We need a right triangle. And the only way to guarantee that is to drop a segment from R to T, giving us a perpendicular right there. And we know this segment here is 30, so this segment is also 30. They're both the radii of the same circle. And we can use Pythagorean theorem to find this whole distance right here. And then whatever we find this to be, we'll just subtract 30 from it. All right, so using Pythagorean theorem, um, let's call this distance y. We don't know it yet. y squared equals 30 squared plus 40 squared. And there we go. And then, uh, let's see, 30 squared is 900. 40 squared is 1,600. 900 plus 1,600 is 2,500. You take the square root of both sides, y comes out to be 50. Okay, so this distance right here is 50. Let's label that. We need to find x though. We just take 50 minus 30. x is 20. There we go. Alright, kind of the similar situation down here in number 5. Here we have a right triangle. We know the perpendicularity right there. Um, we know this distance here is 21, making the whole distance 29 from here to here. So we can use Pythagorean theorem for the triangle. 29 squared equals 21 squared plus x squared. Alright, we will subtract 21 squared minus 29 squared. It comes out to 400. And the square root of 400 is 20. So our x is 20. There we go. Lastly, number six, we have two points of tangency here. We know we're perpendicular right here, we're perpendicular right here. Um, this is five. This segment here is also five because all three are radii. And we're dealing with two right triangles. If we just focus on this one right here, we have one leg is five, so five squared, plus the other leg is the unknown, x. Call that x squared. And I want that to equal five plus eight, 13 squared get the 13 again from 5 and 8 added together and then we'll solve for x. Let's see x squared we get 13 squared is 169 and then minus 5 squared which is 25 169 minus 25 is 144 and the square root of 144 is 12 so our final answer for the number 6 x is equal to 12. There you are.